Yo, so many of us are still in quarantine and computers still need to be repaired. So this video is just my five must have tools for computer repair. All right, so we're gonna dive right into this one. First off, my favorite tool is the iFixit kit. That's right here, this iFixit kit. Um, it's a magnetic screwdriver. It comes with just about every bit that you could use for repairing, whether it's a PC, a Mac, a camera, a PlayStation, a phone. I mean, it comes with just about everything. Now, you can start out with a basic uh, kit, which just gives you like a screwdriver and the bits, or you can get one that comes with like the spudgers, um, the pry tools, um, tweezers, the whole nine but um as far as quality is concerned i've ran through a lot of different uh tool kits for repairing uh, electronics and nothing compares to i fix it um i do have a runner-up screwdriver which is my um my wild stick um this is a nice uh, uh precision screwdriver that is uh wireless um so you don't have to plug it up it's, it runs off the lithium ion battery um, so it's rechargeable. Um, that's my backup kit. But the thing that I don't care for about it is that the magnetic bits, they're not as strong and they're not picking up the screws as good as the iFixit kit. Also, the organization of how they give you the bits, it's it sucks because when you're doing a repair and you're trying to find a, a P2 or T5, it's a lot of work trying to go through that kit. Whereas this kit, it's already organized. It lets you know exactly what you're what you're going to be uh, looking for, and if you just place your bits right back in the right spot, you have no problem with organization. Um, the second the second must have is a, is a magnetic screw pad. Um, the magnetic screw pad comes in handy when you're doing a job that requires a lot of screws coming out. Um, you're able to put these screws there and not lose them. They're not rolling over the desk. They're not bouncing off your desk. They're not rolling and getting stuck and hitting under different things that's on your desk. The magnetic screw pad is a must. Um, third on my list, you got to have a set of tweezers. Um, I've learned that in certain repairs, the delicacy of these ribbons and these, uh, these uh, wires that's inside of the laptops you gotta you gotta get in there very delicately and pull things up. The tweezers are a must-have. Um, definitely in computer repair. I'm not too sure. I'm I'm guessing you're probably gonna definitely need those in um, cell phone repair as well. Um, but it just helps you as far as getting in tight spaces and pulling up things without damaging the surrounding components. Um, the fourth item that's on my list is a spudger. Uh, when you're trying to pry open cases, pry open screens, get in between things, this thing comes in handy. Trying to rip it apart with your hands, you're guaranteed you're going to fuck some shit up. So you got to use a spudger. Um, and then last but on, last thing on my list, it's not a necessity, but I like the look when I'm doing a repair. It comes in handy is a, a, a heat proof work mat. Um, if you got a nice heat proof work mat comes in handy when you especially when you got to pull out your heat gun and heat up something because it's glued together um the heat the uh the, the heat proof work mat it also has some type of material on it that allows you to like put a screw on it and it is not rolling or bouncing around it kind of hugs screws um so that's the top five uh must have tools for computer repair or electronics repair um, if you like this video, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. We'll be giving up more tips, tools, and different things to help you along the way of being a technician or getting your A-plus certification. Whatever your journey or path is, I'm sure you'll find something on this channel that will help. So go ahead, hit that button right now. Um, hit the like button. Leave us a comment. We love to get in conversation with everybody about different things. If you got any questions about a repair, any tools, shoot us a comment and I'll be sure to reply to your comment. Thanks for watching and uh, peace out, y'all.